Hey Gales and guys, it's Krista Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com and this time out we're going to do a few things actually. We're going to uh, create a form, a brand new form, and we're also going to create a list to have uh, information in that form populate to the list. And to do that we're going to also create an automation. So we're going to do, 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 do three things in this particular video as soon as I can have the ability to speak. Um, I had the site created, this is a sandbox site. This is just a site to um, fart around with different things. And uh, I'm just going to go into the content section and just leave it there. And we're going to go over to our Office 365 and we are going to create a brand new form. So when you log into 65, you can just click on these here, a bunch of dots and just go all apps and then explore all apps and it'll open up this uh, Thing for you here, this interface, and then we're going to go forms. We're going to create a new form, and we are going to call this. Let's see here, I have my information right over here. So we're just going to do practice um, just uh, website change, website change request. I can go back and change that name if I'm to use it, and then. Um, Please enter your changes. If you want a description, you don't have to have a description. It's totally up to you. And so let's add. So here is um, what you can add as far as you get choices. It's all self-explanatory, right? And then you can upload files here. I'm not sure where the link is or net promoter score is. Um, and these are just things I've done before I can pull from. So I'm actually going to do a brand new text. All right. And then the first thing is going to be last name. All right. And then um, it's going to be a required field. So as you see right here, you can hit required. And there you can do different restrictions, add branching. We're not going to get into all that. OK. This is just going to be a simple tutorial for you. All right. I put my name, <laughs> first name, first name. I was putting my first name in there. Okay, that's also required field. All right, and then we're going to add uh, another text. We're going to add uh, email. Again, another required field. And then we are going to add, let me see what the first question is here. Okay, this is going to be another text field. And let's go add a link. A link. Also going to be a required field. Oop. And then if you screw up, let's go back. Yes. And then we're going to add a new one. And this time out, uh, let's see what we got here. All right. This is us. This is going to be upload, file upload. Okay. A new folder will be created in one drive. Files uploaded by responder will be captured in this folder. Note that responder's name and file details will automatically be recorded. And button up. Go OK. And let's see. Yeah, we'll give them a limit of five files that they can upload. And I'm going to do 100 meg. All right, and this is going to be a picture of like changed. Or you can put something to the effect of add pictures you want added, something something along those lines. Okay, I'm going to add one more. I'm just drawing from my request here. Let's see. So we're going to do text. And we're going to do... Okay. Okay, so... The new text and for this, um, what we can do is let's, see, let's get off this, go back, and we can do long answer so you give them a little more room to um, add their information. That's what I'm going to do, okay. 
So that's our form right now. And if you want to share, copy this link. And open up another browser. All right, so there's your form right there. Okay, I'm just going to drag this over here now. And I'm going to go back into my contents. And we're going to create a new list. So how we're going to do that is um, we're going to do new. We're going to do list. I'm just going to do a blank list. Um, and we're going to name it exactly what our form is. So I'm just going to copy page description. Um, and just do exactly form. You don't have to have a description. Obviously, you have to have a name. That's why the red star is there. It's, uh, you have to have a description. You don't necessarily need it. Show and navigation. No, this is just a practice. So I'm going to create. Okay, it's automatically going to take us to our list. So check this out. If you're not aware, go to say contents again. There's the list right there. You just click on the list and you're in there. Okay, so we are going to Change this column settings. I'm going to rename this. And once this decides to pop up, it's just going to be last name. I'm going to add a new column. It's just going to be a single line of text, and that's going to be. First name, and then you have to, so you have to have um, the name of what the field is. Everything else you don't need. That's all fine. You can show other options. That's all good. And my fat head is in the way of the save. So same there. And then from here, I'm going to do single line, and you're just going to emulate. You're going to copy. You're going to do exactly. Sorry, you, did this, sorry. you know, do exactly um, what your form is. You can call them the things if you need to. And then you can stretch these along as far as you want. You know, I'm just going to cut and paste from my form as I add the new columns. And save that. In my case, I'm just going to call them. It's on the form. I can put like I could put like abbreviated um, headers, but I'm just not going to for the sake of this. Um, right. and I don't even really need this one because this one is going to, um, that one's going to go to either a OneDrive or a folder that you specified. So I actually don't even need that column. So we'll get that out of the way in a minute. And then this one, for multiple lines of text in case people want to go crazy explaining what they want. Okay, this particular one. On column settings, edits. I'm going to delete. So that's how you delete a column. You don't want it. Okay, because we don't need it. Those, those files that they're going to upload, those images that they're going to upload are going to go um, someplace else. Okay, and then done. So before we uh, do a practice, um, we got to do an automation, don't we? Yes, we do. So we're going to go back to leave this up, leave that up. We'll go back to Explore Apps, and then we're going to go to Power Automate. All right, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to create. So we're going to do automated cloud flow, and we're just going to call it exactly what the form and the list is called. All right, and then this is going to be uh, uh, SharePoint. And an item is creating. Submitted. Okay, we want new response. When a new response is submitted, it's right in front of my face. Okay, so for this, when a new response is submitted, so just telling you once once that form's filled out and submitted, 
Um, this is how the flow is going to go. And then it should come to a new page. It wants to load here. Okay, we're going to pick our form, which is now our practice web change request. Okay, we're going to add a step here. And the next step is um, you're going to find forms. So I don't see it here, so I'll just find form. And Microsoft Forms. Okay, get response details. That's what you want to do. And then we want to choose the form, so it's practice website uh, change request. And in here we want the response ID, so it's the only choice I have here. Okay, and once that's done, oops, I only want one of those. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Next up, we're looking for SharePoint. Okay, go to SharePoint, and we want to um, create an item. So, okay, so let's create item, and then lists, uh, we want to enter value, okay, so we are going to put in, we can do advanced options here if you want, okay, so we're going to start with um, do last name, There's, nope, this is not what I want here. Oh, list name is required. Okay. Oh, let me go back here. So we gotta get the list name. Mm. Oh, okay, we have to enter the site where it is. So we're looking for the sandbox site. Let's see here where our sandbox site is. Sandbox site is right here. Okay, then we need our list. There's our list right here, practice website. Okay. And then we can do all items. All right. And then our title is actually the last name, because remember we changed we changed that. And then first name. First name, you're kind of just oops. You're just kind of matching up exactly. That's why you don't have to necessarily name them the same. It just makes life easier. Um, add link to page, like to change, and add a picture. Oops, I forgot to go down here. Add link you'd like to change, show text. So remember, I'm not doing the picture thing. That's going to go to another file. I'm going to save. All right, and let me just should be able to open this all up for you so you can see exactly what the flow looks like. Okay, and I'm going to bring the form back over. Let's go back to our form, which is actually the edit is sitting um, over here someplace. Here it is. Let me drag this over. Now, if you go down here where it's pictures and you click on this icon here, images, you can put where you want it from here, where you would like to place the images. For now, I'm just going to place them in my in my cloud, my personal cloud. Okay, so we'll just go back. So let's test this flow once my computer stops freezing. All right, and go here. All right, so we'll just put in some information. so it doesn't necessarily have to be real information. And we'll go uh, AOL at AOL.com. Uh, oh, that's email. Yeah, that's email. So we'll just put, um, I don't know, Google.com. Obviously, you put in the website that you want changes made. Uh, okay, so we're going to start here. Upload a file. I should forget to find a file, lovers. Yeah, we'll go to 
desktop. Should be some images on that I can grab from. Okay, I'm going to grab that. And it's, as you can see, it's uploading. And I'm just going to put past here. All right, I'm going to submit. Okay. So our form has been submitted. I'm going to go over to our list. I'm just going to refresh. All right, so there's our information right here. And you can go a step further here. Um, you can do a choice. And you can do something like um, complete, like completed. All right, so you can kind of keep track of what's completed and what's not. You can go yes, no, and get rid of this one, just exit it out. And then usually yes is green, right? And no is usually typically red. Any red you want, I guess. All right, you can save there. And then if you double click on the first line, you can say, no, this is not completed yet. All right, so you'll know you need to, to complete that. All right, and then the last thing I want to show you is where those images are sitting. So go back here, you wanna to go to responses. And this is when you're editing the form, you wanna go responses. And if you go down here, you're going to see a picture. Here's the file of the picture. Right, so you can go to more details. You can just click on the file. And there's the file there. And you can just save image as if you want. Um, so it's sitting in my, um, you can view folder. All right. It's sitting in uh, my files, apps, Microsoft. But actually, it, it it put it in my apps form. It's got I uh, built a folder for it. It, it didn't actually go to directly to my to my um, my cloud, my OneDrive. But that's how that goes, guys and gals. Um, obviously, if you have any questions or concerns, you can put them down in the comments. Um, please share. I would appreciate that. Definitely subscribe and like the video, and then hit the bell if you want updates. Sorry, guys and gals. It's very early, as always, uh, kind of sluggish, but I'll drink some more coffee. Wake up. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you as always. I hope this helped you as always, and I will catch you later. <laughs>